my dear students in fourth primary at the end في نهاية the previous lesson كنت طلبت منكو to write the concepts and the skills you learned about decimals today نتعلم النهاردة more about decimals وهنركز النهاردة على the strategies that can help us اللي هتساعدنا to know the equivalent fractions and decimals this is what we will learn in unit 10 lesson 7 all things equal هدفنا النهاردة إن إحنا نكتب the equivalent fractions and decimals to the hundredths place. عشان نحقق الهدف بتاعنا ده, we will first الأول هنراجع على اللي إحنا خدناه about equivalent fractions. أول حاجة we learned was the meaning of equivalent. كان إيه معنى أصلاً the equivalent. وبعدين عرفنا كمان how to find the equivalent fractions by using كنا بنستخدم the fraction wall اللي كانت بتساعدنا إن إحنا نعمل ده. وكمان we record recorded the definition of equivalent fractions in the fractions answer chart. Can you remember it? We learned that تعلمنا إن the equivalent fractions have different denominators with denominators but they have the same value. This is because the denominator with denominator change, but by the same factor. Now let's move to the access part, equivalency review activity, page 88. Okay, here in this activity, as you see, here we will review على some of the strategies we have used to find the equivalent fractions. And now I will give you enough time to answer problem one with two with three. And circle the equivalent fractions uh, that shows the equivalency. And now after we have finished, let's solve the problems together. We have learned that to find an equivalent fraction, عشان to find the equivalent fraction, لازم نعمل إيه. We multiply by a fraction equivalent to 1. زي إيه مثلا؟ زي 2 over 2, أو 3 over 3, أو 4 over 4, and so on. لازم تكون fraction equivalent to 1. كمان we can divide by the same factor up and down. طيب, in problem number 1 here, here is problem number one. بيقولي إيه؟ بيقولي is half equivalent to three over six. طب أنا متأكدة إن أنتوا كلكم لاحظين إن the digits in the fraction have increased. يعني إيه؟ يعني one over two becomes three over six. The fraction كبر. So what should uh, we do? هنعمل إيه؟ Yes, exactly. I must use multiplication. هستخدم the multiply. طيب دلوقتي أنا عايز أعرف إيه النمبر الـ times 1 gives me 3 يعني 1 times what gives me 3 yes excellent 1 times 3 gives me 3 طيب أوكي لما أعمل times 1 times 3 يبقى لازم كمان أعمل الـ denominator times 3 so 1 times 3 gives me 3 وكمان 2 times 3 gives me 6 يبقى these two fractions are equivalent fractions so I will circle the two fractions because they are, are equivalent to each other. تعالوا بقى نحل problem number two all together. Here in problem number two, he's asking me, is three, two over three equals to two over six? Two over three equivalent to two over six? Okay. طيب كلنا شايفين إن النومنيتر in both fractions are equal. شايفين كده ال two numerators دول are equal. طب لما النمنيتر يبقى equal يبقى لازم ال denominator equal لكن هنا ال denominator different here is 3 and here is 6 so these two fractions are not equivalent تعال نشوف بقى problem number 3 here in problem number 3 I want to know is 8 over 10 equivalent to 4 over 10 طيب زي ما احنا شايفين برضو ان ال denominator they are the same الاثنين denominators are 10 ما دام ال denominator the same عشان يبقى equivalent لازم برضو ال denominator يبقى the same بس لو بصينا هنا هنلاقي they, are, they have different denominators 8 and 4 يبقى two fractions دول are not equivalent تعالوا كده نشوف problem number 4 he's asking me is 8 over 12 equivalent to 4 over 6 طيب 
في حد ملاحظ ان ال8 بيكام 4 لوك ال8 بقت 4 حصل لها ايه ات بيكامز سمولر صح يبقى انا لازم استخدم ديفايد طيب اسك يور سيلف هي 8 ديفايدد باي وات ايكوالز 4 يس 8 ديفايدد 2 ايكوالز 4 ما دام عملت 8 ديفايدد 2 يبقى لازم اعمل الدينومينيتور ديفايد باي ذا سيم نمبر سو 12 ديفايدد 2 ايكوالز 6 سو ذيس تو فراكشنز ار ايكويفالنت سو يو شود سيركل ذيم Now you can solve the rest of the problems in the same way. بنفس الطريقة بالضبط. Now that we have we have revised, بعد ما عملنا revision about how to find the equivalent fractions, تعالوا بقى نطبق كل ده to the decimals in the built part. Is it the same on page 88? Let's move to page 88. Okay, here in this activity, we will create a normal equivalent model. Record these fractions and write it as a decimal fraction. تعالوا كده نشوف الكلام ده in problem number one. طيب problem number one دلوقتي احنا عندنا two models like you see. The first model divided into ten equal parts. شايفين كل ال parts دي if you count them هنلاقيهم كلهم ten. و eight parts are colored. It the fraction اللي ممكن نكتبه تاني. أنا عندي eight colored parts و كل ال parts ten. يبقى الفراكشن بتاعي 8 over 10 it is already written طيب والديسمال بتاعي هو 8 over 10 لما اجي اكتبها بالديسمال بكتبها ازاي 0.8 او 8 tenths طيب تعالوا نشوف بقى second model you can notice that it is divided into a into 100 parts ده معناه ايه ده معناه لو بصينا على كل كولم هلاقيه divided متقسم ل 10 equal parts each كولم divided into 10 equal parts. طيب, here I have eight columns colored, right? So I should color eight columns to be like this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, طيب, so what should I do next? Yes, here the number of parts will be different, right? يبقى أنا هنا I shaded eight parts. We here also eight parts. But the number of the parts are different. Here I have eighty parts, right? But here I have eighty parts out of hundred, and here I have eight parts out of ten. Okay. Type the equivalent fraction to eight over ten is what? Yes. The last other rule in eight over ten equivalent to eighty over one hundred, right? Type. And now, what is the equivalent decimal in eight tenths? Yes, the equivalent decimal in eight tenths is eighty hundredths. Tell me, write it like this. Eighty hundredths has to be zero point eighty, which is called eighty hundredths. Now, as you can notice, if we multiply the denominator eight ten times and the denominator ten times, we will have the equivalent fraction eighty. Over 100. يعني لو عملت 8 times 10 و 10 times 10 هلاين the equivalent fraction 80 over 100. And that's what we have explained in the models. بنفس الطريقة we can solve problem number two. تعالوا كده نشوف problem number two. Here is problem number two. As you can see, زي ما احنا شايفين, the colored part in the first model represent what? Three tenths. مش هو here he colored three parts out of ten. يبقى 3 tenths, right? Okay, and the second model divided into 100 parts. So we will color same 3 columns. Here we color 3 columns. I should shade or color also 3 columns in the second one. And let in the number of parts acquired different, right? Because this is divided into 10 parts and this is divided into 100 parts. A number of parts here are 30 parts. Parts out of one hundred, and here are three parts out of ten. Okay, so the fraction represents the number of hundredths, which is three over thirty over hundred, equivalent to what? Yes, equivalent to three over ten. شحنا قلنا thirty hundredths هنا سا three over ten. طيب. We can also notice that if thirty in the denominator is now three. Right, if thirty becomes three, 
becomes less يبقى عملت ايه divided by 10 right so لو عملت 30 divided 10 100 divided 10 the fraction or equivalent fraction will be 3 over 10 this means in 30 hundredths is equal to 3 tenths the 30 hundredths equal to 3 tenths which is 0.3 and as you have noticed, we use the same multiplication and division strategies we used with fractions. Now I'll give you time to think about problem number three, and you can use the models to find the fractions. When we are back, we'll review the answers all together. And after you have finished, زي ما احنا شايفين هنا هنلاقي ان 5 tenths are colored in this model, right? لو عدينا كولمز دي هنلاقيهم 5. So we will color the same size or the same columns in the second model. يبقى I will color 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. طيب, but the parts will be different. Why? Because here I have 50 parts out of uh, 100 right but here I have five parts only out of 10 because this is divided into 100 parts and this is divided into 10 parts okay so the fraction 5 over 10 is equal to what yes five parts out of 10 here نفسها 50 parts out of uh, 100 and the decimal 5 tenths in equivalent to this decimal 5 tenths خلاص احنا كلنا عرفنا ان 5 tenths is the same as 50 hundredths which is 0 0.50 some of you might ask if ممكن ناس منكو او students منكو يسألوا if there are other fractions equivalent to 5 over 10 و 5 over 100 يعني ممكن الاقي fraction equivalent to 5 over 10 وكمان 50 over 100 لما سألت السؤال ده للstudents بتوعي and they noticed كلهم لاحظوا حاجة مهمة جدا الحاجة اللي هم لاحظوها this will help you to answer this question لاحظوا ان half of the model was shaded مش احنا لو بصينا على الموديل ده هلاقي ان shaded part بالضبط half the model نص الموديل بالضبط shaded طيب ده معناه ايه ده معناه we can use the half to represent the shaded part يعني انا ممكن اقول 5 over 10 equal 5 over 50 over 100 equals command half okay from what we have learned in access if we multiply nominator with denominator in the fraction half by 5 it will be 5 over 10 right you know not 5 over 10 divided by 5 divided by 5 it will give me half okay the man in half equals the 5 over 10 we command equals the 50 over 100 Okay, كمان هنلاقي ال half equals to 5 tenths, right? عشان ال 5 tenths أصلا equal 5 over 10. And it is equal to 5 50 hundredths. And here I can write equals to half because half equals 50 hundredths and equals to 5 tenths. طيب دلوقتي ممكن نطبق كل اللي أنا قلته ده to mixed numbers. تعالوا نشوف ازاي. دلوقتي لو أنا عندي mixed number زي 1 and 5 over 10. مش هنا عندي 5 over 10. طيب لو عندي mixed number 1 and 5 over 10. Okay. This is equal to what? Equal to 1 and 50 over 100. Right? Which is equal to 1 and half. هي نفسها equal ل 1 and half. طيب في حاجة هنا مهمة جدا لازم تاخدوا بالكم منه منها. If we have a fraction like 21 over 100. لو عندي 21 over 100. Okay. What fraction is equivalent to it? ولازم ال denominator بتاعها يبقى 10. أنا متأكدة. I am sure. I am sure you can notice that. The 100 becomes 10. Right? يعني أنا عايزة equivalent fraction. The denominator بتاعه 10. طب دلوقتي ال 100 becomes 10. عملت إيه؟ عملت divided 10. يعني مش 100 divided 10 equals 10. 
يبقى لازم اعمل برضو 21 divided by 10 طيب هو ينفع اعمل 21 divided by 10 يعني في number times 10 هيديني 21 of course no right I am sure ان كلكم بتقولوا there is no number يعني I cannot divide it I cannot divide 21 divided by 10 Okay, so we cannot write a fraction equivalent to 21 over 100. We couldn't denominate it with 10. Why? Because 21 cannot be divided by 10. Now we are ready to move to the activity. Create the same on page 89 to find the equivalent fractions and decimals. Tell me, don't you have a bad? Okay. Now, let's see this activity. In this activity, we will record the negative equivalent fraction and decimal for each problem. Let's see how we are going to solve it. Let's see how we are going to solve it. In problem number one, here is problem number one. I have one over ten. We can find it, its equivalent fraction by multiplying the denominator with the denominator by ten. Okay, so 1 over 10 will be equals to what? Tell me, multiply it by 10, by 10 up and down. So 1 times 10 equals 10, and 10 times 10 equals 100. The equivalent fraction of it is 1 is 10 over 100. Okay, type low. What about the decimal? I see the equivalent decimal. So 1 tenth it will be yes. 1 over 10, يعني 1 tenth. In equivalent decimal بتاعتها, it will be 10 hundred tenths, right? Let's move to problem number 2. Problem number 2, we need to find the fraction equivalent to 70 over 100. طيب دلوقتي عايزين نفكر ازاي to change the denominator 100 to 10. أنا عايز أخلي denominator 100 دي 10. هعملها ازاي؟ 100 becomes 10 becomes small يبقى لازم استخدم ال divide. So 100 divided by 10 gives me 10 يبقى I must make 70 divided by 10 which is equals to 7. Right? يبقى the equivalent fraction ل 70 over 100 is 7 over 10. طيب what about the decimal? I want to find equivalent decimal. Right? Okay. So the equivalent decimal to 70 hundredths, right, is what is equal to 7 tenths. Now let's move to page 90 in problem number 4. Here's page 90, and here is problem number 4. Here I have 4 tenths. The fraction that represents it is what? 4 over 10, right? 4 over 10. Okay. تعالوا بقى نكتب الـ equivalent fraction to this. هعمل إيه؟ I will multiply denominator by 10 and also the denominator by 10. يبقى لما أعمل 4 times 10 و 10 times 10, الـ equivalent fraction will be 40 over 100. Okay, now you can solve problem number 5 on your own way. I'll give you time to do this and then we will, we will review the answers all together when we are back. And after you have finished, let's check the answers all together in problem number five. Here, as you see, problem number five, we have 30 hundredths. A fraction that represents it is what? Yes, 30 hundredths, yani 30 over 100, right? To find the equivalent fraction, I will divide the denominator with denominator by 10. In the 30 divided by 10, 100 divided by 10, the equivalent fraction will be 3 over 10, right? Okay, what about the decimal? I can write the decimal as 30 hundredths, right? Decimal bt 30 hundredths. It is equivalent to what? Yes, it is equivalent to 3 tenths. In problem number 7, the fraction we have is 10 over 10, as you see here. So, we all know that it is equivalent to one whole, right? 
we can make equivalent to the fraction 100 over 100. The decimal will be what? The decimal will be 10 tenths, which is equal to one whole. طب هكتبها ازاي؟ هكتب ال1 هول از الديسيمال ازاي؟ اكتبها 1.0، رايت؟ اوكي، وكمان ممكن اكتبها از 100 هندرتس، يعني از ايكوال تو 1.00. Let's move to problem number 8. Problem number 8 انا عندي ميكس نمبر اللي هو 1 and 4 over 10. The equivalent fraction to 4 over 10 is what? Yes, the equivalent fraction. 4 over 10 had 40 over 100, right? So we can write the equivalent fraction is 1 and 40 over 100. And now, ممكن بقى نعمل convert the mixed number ده نخلي improper fraction. خلي this one improper fraction. Is they by multiplying the denominator by this one, the whole number, and then add the denominator. يعني هعمل 100 times 1. Equals hundred plus forty, يعني hundred forty over one hundred, and this is the improper fraction. Now let's write the decimal. One and four over ten is equal to a is equal to one and four tenths, يعني one point four, right? It is the same if I write it as one and forty hundred tenths, right? Okay. Which is equal to 1.40 of 1 and 40 hundredths. And now let's move to the second part of this activity. Here we have three problems, like you see here. We will fill in the missing denominator or nominator. But then I will circle the fraction that is more than one whole. We will solve now problem number 12 altogether. Here is problem number 12. Here we have 200 over 100. Type a fraction is equivalent to it with 10 in the denominator. Of course, we in the denominator 100 changed into 10. 100 by 10 becomes smaller. Divide. divide by what? By 10. We have 100 divided by 10. We come in 200 divided by 10. 200 divided by 10 equals what? Yes, is 20. Right? So, 200 over 10, here in 20 over 10. Sorry, 200 over 100, here in 20 over 10. And these are the equivalent fractions. Okay, so, 20 over 10 is equal to 2. 200 over 100, here in 20 over 10. And 20 over 10 is equal to 2. Right? So, I will circle it because it is greater than uh, 1. And now, we will solve many problems on finding the equivalent fractions in many ways. We already solved these problems. Let's move now to the connect part, writing about math. Now, look at the connect part, my bad. Here, we are asked about the strategies. We are asked about the strategies that we use to find the equivalent fractions and decimals. ممكن نستخدم words أو numbers أو pictures to express our thinking. And now I'll give you time to think about the answers and then we will discuss all together when we have finished. لما سألت الستودنس بتوعي الكويستشن ده some of my students said that we could use ممكن نستخدم models to help us find the equivalent fractions في ستودنس تانيين قالوا لي they used the multiplication and division to find the equivalent fractions على فكرة the two answers are right you can add these two answers on your own answers now let's move to the practice part in the digital copy of your math textbook on the Egyptian knowledge bank and you can access this part by scanning the code shown here. You will find many problems زي بالظبط اللي احنا حليناها مع بعض today. Now let's solve problems number 10. طيب. هنا البروبلم بتقول لي ايه؟ بتقول لي ان نجلة baked a cake. Divided it up into 10 
equal strips to decorate. She decorated it with several different colors. زي ما شايفين كده عملتهم ب different colors. What fraction of the cake is red? The fraction of red is A. As you have noticed, in the number of strips colored in red is A. Let's see one, two, three, four. Four parts. We cake divided into ten strips. If a fraction representing the ten is four over ten, how can you write it? Fraction of red is four over ten. Okay, let's move to the problem number eleven. It says if Nagla cut the cake, if Nagla cut the cake, the cake into hundred pieces. If a fraction will decimal of the cake would be red. Okay, first thing we had four parts out of ten colored in red. If how many parts out of out of hundred colored in red? Yes, you are right. So forty parts. Why? Because 40 multiplied by 10, and this means we need to multiply 4 by 10. So the fraction will be 40 over 100. All right? Okay, so what about the decimal? Yes, the decimal will be 40 hundredths. The decimal will be 40 hundredths, so I write it as 0.40. And of course, you can see that in a fraction 4, over 10, هي نفسها equivalent to 40 over 100. With 4 tenths, equivalent to 40 hundredths. Today, we have learned how to write the equivalent fractions and decimals to the hundredths place. We came in, we solved many problems in different ways. You can extend your skills and practice more and more problems, under check your understanding, and you can access this part by scanning the code shown here that directs you to your digital copy of your math tech book on the Egyptian Knowledge Bank. And this is the end of our lesson today and the end of concept two. In this concept, we have learned عرفنا إيه هم fractions with decimals and the relationship between them and how to find the equivalent fractions and decimals. Now, I hope you have enjoyed our lesson. See you next lesson in a new concept. Thank you so much.